Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install TWRP recovery on any Samsung device. If you've ever wanted to root your phone or flash a custom ROM, installing TWRP is the very first step. And don't worry, I'll guide you through everything step by step in the simplest way possible. So let's get started. For this video, I'm using the Samsung F52s. But don't worry, this method works for almost all Samsung devices. Whether you're using the M series, A series, or even the S series, the process is exactly the same. And as you can see, this phone is running on Android 14. But yes, this method also works perfectly fine on Android 13 and even Android 15. Now let's move to step one, unlocking the bootloader. If your bootloader is already unlocked, you can skip this step. In my case, the A52 bootloader was already unlocked, so I'll be using a Samsung S23 to demonstrate. Again, the steps are the same for all Samsung devices. First, open settings, scroll down to about phone, and then tap on software information. Here, tap build number seven times. You'll see a message that says, developer mode has been enabled. Once that's done, go back to the main settings menu, scroll down and tap on developer options. In this menu, you need to enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. These options are mandatory to unlock Samsung bootloader. Once both options are enabled, we're ready to boot the phone into download mode. First, connect your phone to your PC using a USB cable. Now restart the phone and as soon as the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold volume up and volume down together. Keep holding until you see the warning screen. On that screen, press and hold volume up again to enter bootloader unlock mode. Then press volume up one more time to confirm. Your phone will wipe all data and reboot. You'll see a warning that the bootloader is unlocked. That's completely normal. Just finish the setup and you're ready for the next step. So the device has now booted up. Let me quickly open the settings and enable developer options again. And yep, as you can see, the OEM unlock toggle is grayed out, which means the bootloader is already unlocked. All right, now let's also check the bootloader status on the Samsung A52s. And yes, the bootloader is unlocked here too. Now just make sure USB debugging is turned on so we can connect the phone to the PC. Next, uh, we'll boot into download mode again. Just connect the phone to your PC, restart it, and as the screen goes black, press and hold, volume up and volume down together. But this time, just press volume up once and you'll enter download mode. Now in download mode, make sure both FRP lock and OEM lock options are turned off. Alright, now let's switch over to the PC screen. On your PC, open any browser and search for TWRP along with your device name. The first link should be from twrp.me, which is the official website for downloading TWRP. Scroll down and select your region to download the correct TWRP file. Just make sure to download the .tar file, not the .img file, since Odin only supports .tar files. If you can't find an official TWRP file for your Samsung device, no worries. There's a good chance that you can find an unofficial TWRP on XDA developers. Just add XDA to your search term, click on the XDA link and download the appropriate file from there. Once TWRP is downloaded, you'll also need the VB meta file. You can either extract it from your PC or find it in the XDA post related to your device. Scroll down and look for the VB meta image and download it. This file is required to complete the process. All right, all the files are now downloaded, including the Odin file and Samsung USB drivers from the description link. First, extract the Odin file. 
Once Odin is extracted, go ahead and install the Samsung USB drivers. Just double click on the setup file and follow the on-screen instructions to install it. It's a quick process. Since the drivers are already installed on my PC, I'm going to skip this step. Now open the extracted Odin folder and run the odin.x file. In Odin, click on the AP button and select the twrp.ta file which you downloaded earlier. Next, click on the user data slot and select the VB meta file. Once both files are loaded, go to the Options tab and make sure to turn off Auto Reboot. This part is important. Now connect your phone to the PC if it isn't already. And yes, as you can see, it shows Added and COM9 which means the device is successfully connected. Everything looks good, so now simply click the Start button. Odin will now start flashing the files. It should only take a few seconds. And yes, as you can see, pass message at the top and that means the flash was successful. Now here's an important step. Since we turned off auto reboot, the phone won't restart on its own. We need to boot into TWRP recovery. So first try pressing and holding volume up plus power button for about 10 seconds until you see Samsung logo. If nothing happens, don't worry. Just do this instead. Press and hold volume down plus power button for about 7 seconds and the moment the screen goes black, quickly press and hold volume up plus power buttons. Keep holding until you see the Samsung logo and it should boot into TWRP recovery. So just wait for it. And yes, the device is now booted into TWRP, as you can see right here. Now there's a high chance your device is encrypted, which means TWRP won't be able to access your internal storage yet. To fix this, tap on wipe, then choose format data. Here, just type yes and hit enter. This will wipe everything and decrypt the device. Once that's done, go back to the home menu, tap on reboot and then select recovery. This will reboot your phone back into TWRP recovery. After it boots into TWRP again, just tap on reboot one more time and this time select system. Your phone will now reboot into the system, but since we formatted it earlier, it'll ask you to go through the setup process, just like a new device. And yes, as you can see, the device has now booted up properly with TWRP recovery, successfully installed and ready to use. So by following this method, you can easily install TWRP recovery on any Samsung device. You can check if TWRP recovery is permanently installed by pressing volume up while your device is powered off. If TWRP boots up, that means the installation was successful and permanent. If you found this guide useful, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.